in my class, I'm actually doing a class, a two-day class, that will be hands-on through the Federation of Canadian Artists. It will be here in North Vancouver. When I first did this, I buy this stuff in gallons. It's the largest size you can get. Uh, this is a small knife. You can use bigger knives. I don't particularly care about covering every square inch of canvas or wood. You can use it in anything. It's a technique, not a style. You could never have painted in your life and you will be able to do this. You can make it smooth, you can go like that, you can do whatever you want. It stays workable for a long time. This won't be dry till tomorrow. This is on a wood cradle, it's completely clear. So you know when it's dry. If it's still white, it's not dry yet. So when I used all the mahogany panels from the Zorongo, I used GAC on all of them because it, seal, it puts a sealer in between the wood and you don't need it on canvas. I use the liquid pigment at this point because it's already liquid, it's already thin, but it's solid pigment. Whereas if you squeeze out a tube of ultramarine and then thin it down with medium, it's transparent. Right? And ultramarine is a very transparent color anyway. And I don't want any of the white or the brown of the canvas showing through because it's annoying. You get these little speckles that don't look like they belong. So on this stage, I am going to really fill in the whole ground. This is called the ground. It can be wood, it can be canvas, it can be paper. There's your ground. It's pretty solidly covered, except for my finger wants to fit in. And then add a few metallic colors to the top of it and see what happens. Try, I've tried uh, Diox Purple, which I did not care for myself, but it was an amazing result. I've tried greens, I've tried reds, I've tried yellows. There's lots of different things you can do. And the nice thing about acrylic painting is you can always cover it over. This is a golden product. I buy it in gallons, so I just fill this up. Only use the gloss, don't use the matte or the satin. The medium takes the place of water. I do 20% pigment and 80% medium and I do layers and layers and layers and layers and layers and you get a very rich transparent um, effect rather than a really bold right in your face acrylic effect. When I paint these, now this looks like it's covering the whole thing but it's not. The gel is white, it's milky white. So when he dries, it's gonna be clear. And all you're gonna see are these little bits of silver that I'm, I'm brushing at right angles to the grooves and the crevices so that they will catch some of the pigment. And then you get these little ridges where the color. We're gonna use Iridescent Silver Gray Stevenson. Stevenson is a very, very reasonable paint. Um, it's very inexpensive. Mirror, I think it came out after I did this flower. So you can write it down and add it, and if you can find it, buy all they have. It's a very inexpensive paint. Try art is. Um, you would use a different medium. You know, you'd use a linseed oil. And I'm brushing this at right angles again. And it's fun. You can just kind of throw paint. You don't always know what it's going to look like until it dries, which takes a little bit of the control away from you and lets you off the hook so that you can just have fun. I'm, I'm a little bit cognizant of leaving some bits and pieces to show through now. I don't want to cover every little square inch because then why have what's underneath? The colors that attract you the most, that you get the most excited about, use them the least. <laughs> One that was finished a different way, lines and rigging on ships and things. And a lot of people think to make a fine line you use a little tiny brush. You need a brush that will load enough paint and fluid to continue on without running out, almost like a fountain pen. What you want to do is kind of 
and this, this takes some practice. Use your pinky, start at the bottom and go up, and try to maintain the same pressure when you hit a bump, lighten up a little bit. Okay? Just some of these textures and metallics and develop a whole new way of painting for myself. I'm sure there are other people in the world that do this, but I'm the only one I know and you know, so I'm going to share everything I know with you. 